Today I wanted to take a look at App Offline for server maintenance with SharePoint Server on-premise. Here we got a blog post from Scott Gu about the benefits of App Offline. You copy it to the home page of an IIS website and it will take over rendering all requests. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with this is that it won't allow any CSS or images. So as soon as we do App Offline, that IIS website and all of its subfolders, virtual directories, all of them will start serving the same response, which is App Offline only. There's an App Offline generator here at appoffline.appspot.com. There's a couple of templates, it shows 36,000 that have been generated. And I like to use this to go ahead and uh, generate an App Offline page, which we can download. I've downloaded that and have a SharePoint server running in the background here, our appoffline.htm file. Here we have the title, image, and a maintenance uh, message. Okay, with our maintenance page ready, you can check out our SharePoint homepage here, rendering an HTTP portal. We have IIS Manager open, and we got our main SharePoint sites here with our binding, features view, portal, and HTTP 80. We can right click and explore. So inside of the SharePoint website, we'll see all the different folders, web config. We're going to take App Offline and just drop it right there in the root folder. Come back over here and refresh our website. Now we get our Down for Maintenance page. And there it is, the image and everything. So, whereas a minute ago we were running a SharePoint website, we now have our maintenance page up. And if I take App Offline and rename that, go ahead and reload. Be right back in business running a SharePoint site. Alright, so here we have the home page loading again, all of our web parts, we can navigate, refresh, go and check out all site contents, normal functioning SharePoint page, nothing too special to see there. And if we take our app offline, we go ahead and rename it, app offline.htm, F5 to reload, and now we get down for maintenance. So it doesn't matter if they bookmarked a single page, a home page, whatever the URL might be, it's always going to serve the same app offline HTTP 200. So that's the easiest way to take your SharePoint sites down for maintenance. Just a single file copy and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.